All right, let's take a look at page 13. Page 13, we have the graphs that were out in the hall. Now, you don't have copies of the graphs, so we're going to work through the way I might do this, which is to describe all of these things and what's going on. Let's take a look at this graph. What's happening here? Are we moving or backwards? Backwards. And then now what are we doing? Backwards but fast. Right. So how will this show up on a velocity time graph? Will we be will this be a line above the zero or below? Below. And what about this one? Below closer to zero or farther from zero? Right. So here we're going backwards and then instantly backwards faster. This dotted line indicates there's a an instant transition. So sometimes you draw a straight line. I like the dotted lines. So what does this look like on your paper? An object is moving in the negative direction and then immediately speeds up to a faster velocity in the same direction. So find that on your paper and put down A and H and I would suggest something else. When I was helping uh, some of you out in the hall, I would borrow your pencil and I would do a little thumbnail like, you know, this and that, right? Especially if you missed this, I would draw that in maybe next to your letters uh, A and uh, H so that you know what you missed, right? It's hard to look at something that just says A, B, C, D on it and have that help you any if you don't actually have the picture. So I would, I would kind of make a little sketch of the pictures real small. It's real quick. All right, the next one. Uh, let's describe what's happening in this first segment. We're going forward or back? And then what? Forward faster. So what does that look like on a velocity time graph? Are we above the zero or below the zero? Above. And then above further because we're faster, right? So a description for this would be uh, the object is moving uh, in the positive direction and then immediately speeds up in the same direction or goes to a faster velocity in the same direction. So find that one, uh, B and J, and do a quick sketch of the velocity time and the position time graph. Got it? All right. Next one. What's happening here? We're going which way? Negative or backwards, right? Uh, and we're doing that the whole time. So above or below the zero line on the velocity time graph? Below, right. So just one constant, steady thing. So this would be object is moving in the negative direction with no stops and no changes in velocity. Pretty simple. Okay, how about this guy? What are we doing here? Moving which way? Forward. Now what? Now what? So what is that going to look like on a velocity time graph? The first segment is going to be where? Above the line. What's this going to be? On the line. Below the line. Right. Above the line, on the line, below the line. This is kind of a, a problem with some people because they see it go going up which is not up, right? It's forward. But for purposes of the graph, we see up, level, down. So people want to go like, like that. They want to go up, level. They want to make this graph look like that graph. So object is moving in the positive direction, stops, and then goes back the way it came. So find that on your list. Make sure that you have D and L next to it. All right, next one. What's happening here? 
backwards and then backwards slower. All right, so what will this look like on a velocity time graph? The first line will be above or below. And then will it be below this line? It's going, it'll be between this line and this line, won't it? Let's take a look. Okay, so there we go. We're going backwards slow, uh, quickly, and then stop, and then backwards slowly. So the description would be something like object is moving in the negative direction, stops, and then moves slower in the same direction. If you struggled with this one, probably want to have a little sketch. Okay. How about, oops, how about we go forward? What about this guy? Forward. So hopefully above the line. So this, this would be like the other one that was going backwards, but uh, similar direction. Object is moving forward or in the positive direction with no stops and no changes in velocity. Okay, how about this guy? What are we doing here? Forward, and then what? Forward, faster. So on a position time graph, or velocity time graph, we're going to be above or below the line. And then here? And then here? And higher or lower than the first line? Higher, right. So, moving forward, stopped, moving forward faster. Now, you guys need to be able to come up with a way to describe these things on the spot immediately. You should be able to anyway. Now these take some time. I understand you haven't been exposed to these, but you were exposed to these in middle school. So these guys right here, you should already be able to look at that and see what's happening. These right here, they take a little bit, but you should be able to do the same thing with them fairly shortly. Let's take a look and make something up here. So here's what I see. Student walking along to class, right? And then they stop to talk to their friends and check their phone. And then the warning bell rings, and now they take off headed for class faster, right? Would that description fit this graph? Yeah. So whenever you look at a graph like that, you should immediately be able to tell what's happening or make up a story about what's happening. It should just come to you. Boom. Okay? When I look at this, I, I know immediately what's going on. Maybe not the exact values because there's no numbers, but I can tell we're going slower here than we are here, and then we stop for a little in between. You should also be able to do the same thing with this graph, you know, fairly shortly. This should become natural to you as well, just like this should almost already be. We're going to be adding more graphs. Position time, velocity time. We're going to add acceleration versus time shortly. So we're going to have one more graph that we can translate from. We can go from here to here and then from here to another graph. We're also going to see cases on this graph where the lines are not straight. We're going to see cases starting on Friday where some of these lines will be like this on this graph. What would that mean? This right here is the velocity, and the fact that it doesn't change means it's constant velocity, doesn't it? So what would a line like this be on this graph? Increasing velocity. So we're accelerating. We're speeding up. We've got our foot on the gas, and we're speeding up. We're slowing down if we're going the other way. We're going to start that on Friday. So we, we need to be really good with these graphs where we are now because we're just going to be adding and adding and adding to them. All right? So tell me, thumbs up if you got this. Here, if you got it most of the time, but you still make a few mistakes. And then anywhere further on down like that for like, man, I, I'm really not sure I know what I'm doing. Okay. If your thumb is anywhere past that halfway point, 
you probably ought to come in for some tutorials and let's work on these because you got to be comfortable with these guys before before uh, we move on too too much or, or you're just going to be lost right we're going to be lost <laughs>